check, check, check it out. Mbay Arts here, Agent Mbay. Uh, today, uh, as I was listening to Common's Let Love Have the Last Word, I decided to love myself. Uh, and to do that, I mean that as in to acknowledge my faults or my weaknesses uh, and face them head on. Um, and you know, I had to sit and make that as you know some big like life changing thing. Um, I'm thinking of that in an artistic manner. Uh, you know, oftentimes we can get into. I wasn't supposed to get this deep into this. Anyway, I'm doing it. Uh, oftentimes we can get into these moments of self reflection and doubt and worry, and we put things aside. And we pile them up. And we make tasks. We make lists of them. We might hold them in our head. We might write them down. Sometimes we're good at checking them off, sometimes we're not. Um, and so currently, at this time, um, I've potentially got, not even potentially, I've got a lot of things going on. Um, a program I'm gonna start doing next week, so I'm trying to prepare for that. Um, Timing-wise, you might not know what that means. So, it's last week of July 2020. Um, so yeah, I got a program that I'm supposed to be doing for the, that, the entirety of that week, so that's like the nine, 10 day period. And you know, it's kind of a, a crunched in uh, experience as far as timing, which is interesting. My last residency, it's a residency program. I did was 10 days when I was in Cuba. And so now I'm doing one uh, a little more locally. And so, you know, I'm like racking my brain over what I want to do with that. Uh, amidst all the other creative ideas I have in my mind and, and potential ideas and projects that I've been Know, kind of working on and want to do hence this so what I've decided to do is challenge myself to paint every day for the next 30 days uh, why is that why is that important why does that make whatever um, could sound simple because you know words are easy to say I'm gonna paint every day for the next 30 days uh, but when you have a busy schedule when you you know you Factor in all these other things that you do. Like I work out, you know, I have a, you know, a light workout regimen that I do just to keep myself active and physically able and capable. Uh, I work in a you know physically demanding, not too demanding, but you know low physical demand uh, uh, job. And so you know I need to keep my strength about me. And um, so there's that. Uh, you know a, a mountain of other things that you know whether it be with, you know involved with family work, uh, other work like teaching, uh, there's always something that I have to prepare for, and generally the things that I want to do tend to get, you know, pushed to the side or get pushed by, back so that I'm being responsible for, uh, essentially for others, um, and, and it's great to do for others, but in, in many ways I want my artwork to be the thing that's doing for others, so I want my artwork to speak to its audience and that the art challenges and changes the perspective of the viewers. And so if I'm capable of doing that through creating my artwork, then maybe I won't need to do some of these other things that I do uh, as far as you know, for making money and things of that nature. So, you know, whether that be you know, working a job, uh, part-time, full-time in the art field, or teaching, which I enjoy doing at, uh, you know, in, at times as well. Uh, so why painting though? Because you know, I'm, I'm, I'm capable of doing a lot of different things artistically and I have materials and tools. Uh, but I said I wanted to do painting for 30 days straight. Why painting? Painting was my biggest challenge growing up. Uh, not, not growing up, um, but when I got really invested in arts, like in college, undergrad, you know, I, I didn't consider myself a painter. Uh, I just said I didn't do that, but I was really, I was afraid of it. It was, a, it was something that I feared. I was, you know, I scared myself out of it until I found a way to break it down and someone helped me with that and then I was able to move into that. Uh, then, um, as I've become a painter, I still have little things that keep me from starting. Uh, and many times, so it's very easy to get to the canvas and do the work uh, that, that I already have in my head or I may have planned out, but I, uh, I put, you know, is there's little things that that, that, that that might get in the way. So things as simple as setting up, you know, my palette for, for painting, um, which is what, you know, why I kind of set up to start make, putting my paints in jars that I can work easily from. 
So that was one to one way that I, you know, kind of subverted that uh, that process. So as opposed to grabbing paints and mixing them and getting the right colors, um, I said, "Yo, I'm going to uh, put my paints in jars and work from the jars directly from the jars, and you know, whatever." I created my process for that. So, uh, but even in that, now that I've gotten comfortable and used to that, I've created new reasons to get in the to get in the way of me creating. So. Um, it's a way for me to challenge what it is that gets in the way of me creating. So I feel like if I do this for 30 days, in those 30 days I'll experience a multitude of challenges or little things that might get in the way. And maybe I'll document that as I go, uh, as far as like each day being like, alright, so this is the thing that's in my way today. And kind of that. And it probably will repeat. Um, over and over, but as new things come and arise, I'll be able to report on that, and um, it'll be a way to you know give back to the audience and, and, and see how transformative the experience can be for me uh, as well as for others. And so my biggest challenge for the day, I'm just chop this right here a little bit and hop back into it, right? Okay. Now, whatever, that's not important. Today's challenge is I have a painting in which the entire background of the painting is complete. But there are figures that need to go on here. And so in order for me to get paint on this board today, I have to draw. And so my biggest challenge is drawing out the composition of the figures that I want on here uh, in a timely manner and then start laying some paint down. Uh, and so a lot of this will probably just be me working on the drawing and then you know, as I'm working, maybe deciding on color palette and things of that nature. I uh, might go, you know, kind of direct reference to the uh, reference image as far as color choices. Or I might choose to do something different depending on how the story might be able to be told uh, through the color. So, um, again, as I said, as I go through these days, um, whether they be long or short videos, I'll try to present whatever that challenge is. And, you know, the hope is to, I'll go ahead and claim it now so that as they occur, I can say, all right, I said that. Or I can just kind of, you know, force myself to live up to it. But, um, as they, all right, so as I'm aware of a challenge, like, I, I enjoy challenging myself. I put it out there, and once I get a challenge, I'm going to work to make sure that I complete that challenge. And so, uh, you know, maybe I'll have a couple cheat days, you know, there might, there'll be some, there's going to be some travel here and there in my, um, yeah, there's going to be some travel here and there in these next 30 days, so that'll help be a part of the challenge. Um, but, uh, ooh, come on, come on, come on. All right, so knowing where I'm at with this painting, uh, this will probably last me like three days, three, maybe four days before I need to start putting paint on another board or another canvas. Um, and so uh, I know that I'll have to prep other things so that I can continue to paint and progress and progress um, throughout this experiment. And, you know, hopefully by the 30 days I'll be able to give, you know, maybe have a little a mini showing of what I created throughout that time, as well as maybe extend it. I don't know. We'll see what goes. Uh, this video's been long enough. Uh, cut and paste print. Uh, be sure to, you know, again, subscribe, be notified, click the stuff. Um, it is H and M Bay inside HC Art Studios, and uh, I'll get back with you. There are other challenges. I'll come back to those later. But that aside, I'm gonna paint every day for the next 30 days on something. And be out of here.